Right, everybody get to my life. You know what I'm saying? Get to my life. Stop comparing me to these dick sucking ass niggas. I won't smoke with the whole city. Fuck you niggas. All you niggas suck dick. Fuck wine. Compare me to no wine, see? Don't compare me to none of them dick sucking ass niggas. Fuck wine, see? Fuck MBG. 400K. Fuck all you niggas. Don't compare me to you dick sucking ass niggas. I won't smoke with you niggas. I won't smoke with all you niggas. Stop playing with me. I won't smoke with the city. Who own it? Let's do it. We out here. Let's go. Jesus Christ, man. Memphis is going through a lot. You got fucking Lil Migo getting beat up and robbed. You got fucking John Morant punching fans in the face or whoever in the face. And now you have this whole Matt Critter situation. So to break it down quickly, Matt Critter basically it got arrested for first degree murder. He turned himself in and they're starting to put things together. And he's one of three people charged for killing a man called Markeith Taylor. Okay. He's one of three men. But the weird part is, mind you, there's witnesses who put him at the location and everything. So it's like, this is, there's like, there's witnesses, security cameras, and apparently it was near police officers too. But regardless, the one of the, the person, Markeith Taylor, that he's accused of killing, in December 23rd, he posted, mind you, his, uh, Marquise Taylor's name in the streets is Dimp. Okay. So. December 23rd, Matt Critter posted, long live Dimp. I got your girls forever. I love you, big brother. Niggas in the hood hated how much I loved you. We had a bond nobody can break. I got signed. You was happier than any nigga from the hood. 1017 Dimp. I love you. Mind you, I be having them old heads on my head. Like, you can't say nigga. Bro, I'm black. Calm down. I'm 6'3", fucking 250. I'm black. Okay, calm down. But I, this is like, and like, he also shows pictures of of this Mac Dim guy supporting Kim, which is, if, if this is true, because everybody is saying that he backdoored his friend, and uh, this is some dark shit. I'm not going to lie. I, this is some dark shit. Killing your, killing your friend and then posting a fucking memorial message or being part of his death and posting a memorial message is pretty fucked. I'm not going to lie. That's some, that's, some, that's some demonic shit right there, okay? I'm not sure if, like, what the fuck is going on, but this is, like, this is horrible. Like, I, if, he, if, if he actually, I, nigga, like, bro, these things are different. I'm, I'm just going to keep it a stab, bro. These things are different. All right, all right. Like, you're already different to be on fucking live of AK-47. But to kill your, your buddy and then post a memorial on his on your Instagram is fucking wild. I don't know. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is, maybe the police are framing him and all the witnesses are framing him. He didn't do anything. I need your guys' opinion. Let me know.